everybody. In this video I will show you the field of uh, circular magnet arrays and I will view this with my 3D field viewer that I have here. This is just some water-based lubricant and some ferrofluid in a glass container. And what I'm going to do is I will take a magnet and I will bring up the ferrofluid in a circular pattern up like this here. I will do this just off camera. So now I've placed it around in the circular pattern and then take the array and place it like this underneath and you will see how the fluid is sucked in in a vortex-like pattern as you can see here with all of these strings and yeah this pattern appears with a magnet that has all poles facing to the same side meaning all poles are facing to south pole inside and north pole outside and this gives us this nice three-dimensional vortex that you see here so this is what the race itself looks like all poles are facing the same direction and now I will do the same but with a different array this time with a Halberg array that is uh, arranged like that so that all the the magnetic field is focused to the inside as you can see here and I will just rearrange the ferrofluid so now I've arranged the ferrofluid and I will place the magnet underneath like this and you will see it will come down on one side where the most fluid was it will come down first but this will take some time so I will just let it rest underneath here and you will see how on these spots on the side ring there are blobs forming and in just a few seconds they will come down and also form certain lines and patterns where you can see how the field itself uh, forms. So watch as they come down. There is one coming down here. And there are the other ones. And you can see compared to the array that we viewed before, you will not see as they come down in an inner vortex, but this time they are attracted in certain patterns and yeah, just more on the outside. And now I will disturb the ferrofluid even more so that there are more fine particles spread around. So you can see um, this field of this arrangement even better. So let me just prepare this one. So now I've fogged up the viewer a bit. So there are more particles around here. And I will place it underneath like this. And you should be able to see in a few seconds it takes a bit to develop and to the <coughs> and until the ferrofluid comes down so i'll probably yeah it will come down don't need to cut that if you don't want to wait this long just skip 10 20 seconds but i will just show you the pattern that forms when or how they come down and if you notice this Halberg array has like four poles because of eight magnets and you will see it forms in this four poles the lines that come down and so you 
see pretty nice how the field itself forms around this array in a three-dimensional pattern. I think this is pretty nice to show. So let's continue with the next array. And for this one, I have here this same looking array, but this time the Helberg array is arranged the opposite way than before, so the field is focused to the outside and not to the inside. And yeah, if I just place it underneath, you will see the field reforms also on the side walls and on the bottom you see all the ferrofluid is just pushed to the outside. So the most interesting things you can view with this is if you just put it underneath like this so you see the field extends out very far if I can get this sharp like this. You will see the four poles where it extends out further than the area between where it doesn't extend out that far and then this area again with the next pole facing outwards. So this was this array and also I can show you uh, an array that has the field focused stronger on one side, this would be the side visible, and we have here a weaker side. So I will just rearrange the ferrofluid again and then show it to you how it reacts to the array. So here I have placed it around in a circular pattern again. And I will just place it underneath and you can see how the ferrofluid comes down in this four pole pattern. So there are basically areas between the poles, as you can see here, where there's no fluid coming down. And yeah, you can see this nice geometry of how the ferrofluid itself forms on the walls. So this was it for this array. For the next array I have here this square Halberg array and if I place it just on the bottom like this it forms yeah kind of a square like here. You will see this better in the last video so for this I will just uh, rearrange the ferrofluid and then show it to you again what will happen to it. So here I've pre prepared the solution again and now we place the array underneath. And then let's just watch what will happen. As you can see it gets attracted to the inside. I hope some other strings are coming down too. If there is another one forming. Let's just wait for more to come. They are coming down here in the back. And yeah, there you can also see a bit how the field of this array forms. In a very arranged but kind of different pattern, as you can see. We just wait a few seconds, there should be more of these lines coming down on the sides. At least I hope so. <laughs> so just be patient for a few seconds or skip a few seconds. Yeah, I think it would take too long for them to come down. So I will just skip to the next magnet. Oh, there is it. There it is. Now it has come down. A very curved pattern. Yeah, whatever. So let's move on to our next magnet, which would be 
the last that I will show you today. So let me rearrange the ferrofluid and then I will be back with it again. So I've rearranged it again and now we'll just take a couple of ring magnets and place it underneath and then you can see really nice how it forms this vortex-like pattern. So I can let go of it. It's just attracted by the ferrofluid itself. But I will get a stable image if I hold it with two hands. So yeah, you can see kind of well of how the movement of the ferrofluid forms like a vortex, three-dimensional vortex that you can see here if I just tilt it a bit. So let me just rearrange the ferrofluid and I will show you one more time. So now I've placed Steven a bit further up and I will just take the magnet and you will see what happens, it forms this really nice vortex. It's a bit twisted because I slightly moved the magnets underneath, but nonetheless you can get a really good idea of what you are seeing here. And yeah, this field viewer is really easy to build, so Go ahead and build it yourself. It's a really nice tool to view the field in 3D. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.